I'm going to attempt to steal an AutoCAD file off this computer. This computer is protected by File Short Defend. Uh, first thing we're going to try is we're going to try to just copy it to a pen drive. I have a pen drive here on my, on my H drive there. So let's do that over here. And let's pull up this one. Well, actually, I think I should go the other way. Okay, we are here. So I have everything in design documents. Let's just drag and drop it. And we can't do that. So let's try cut and paste. Copy, paste. And file source block that too. But we're clever, so we're going to do something like this. We're going to copy that file to the H drive. And that's also denied. But now we're really smart. We're going to rename that to DWD and try to copy it. But we can't rename it either. So let's try that's that's a common you know blocking USB drive stuff. So let's try something a little bit more sophisticated. Um, do I have Gmail open? I don't. But let's go ahead and try to get to Gmail. It's going to take me a second. Loading. As you can tell, my internet is extremely fast. All right. Let's compose a new mail. And let's just try to attach the file that we're interested in protecting, our protected file, which would be in the designs folder. Like that. And it can't read that either. So we're blocking that. Let's try FTP. Let's connect to an open FTP site. And we're going to try to just upload a file directly. And we can't do that. So let's try let's try zipping it. Maybe we can steal it after we zip it. We can't read it. Let's try a different encryption program like uh, WinAce. Okay, go ahead and add it. It can't read it either. Hmm, looks like we're blocking just about everything. Let's go ahead and just see if AutoCAD can do what it needs to do. This is the trial version of AutoCAD just for this demonstration. So run it. And what we've done is we set FileShore up to allow AutoCAD to read it, but nothing else. Uh, remove that association. And you can see that AutoCAD can read the file just fine. So FileShore uh, has only allowed access to AutoCAD and blocked everybody else, FTP, Explore, browsers, everything except for AutoCAD. So it's able to do exactly what we want. So we're going to do one more test here because we're clever. And we decided if we're going to do a save as, stop, save as. And we're going to try to directly save it to our pen drive and try to steal the data that way. And it can't do that either. Well, I know some of you are probably saying, well, I want people to be able to work at home and um, be able to bring files into work. So what we're going to do is since file sure is, I think this is the one I want, is blocking reads from pen drives. Let's let it see if it'll open. Would you like to write open and read only? Sure. Because you can't write to pen drive, so it's going to open read only. So you can open directly from a pen drive without a cat, but you can't write to it. So close all this. We don't want to save that. All that stuff's pretty neat. Um, let's see. And that covers probably 99% of data leakage data that out there. I could get really geeky about other data protection mechanisms that we have in FileShore, but I think this is probably pretty good. Um, all of this stuff is important, but it also is all getting recorded and put into a data store, and then you get things like alerts and emails and reports and everything. Um, in fact, we got an email right there of me doing all the bad things. Um, you can see that it was sent at 9.41, which was two minutes ago. And here's all the things of me attempting to do things that I shouldn't do that file short caught. Uh, we really try to take a common sense approach to this and uh, do something that really works for people. Uh, thank you.